I might be a whiskey nerd, but I'm also a regular nerd, and this week, to mark the launch of Total War Warmer 3, myself and a few other bartenders are making chaos-themed cocktails. Welcome back to the channel, my name's Matt, I'm a whiskey nerd, and like I said, this week, to mark the launch of Total War Warmer 3, myself and a few other YouTube bartenders are making some chaos-themed cocktails. For those of you who aren't familiar with the Gods of Chaos, I'll give you a quick rundown. There's Korn, the God of War, Slanesh, the God of Excess, Sinch, the God of Schemes, and my personal favourite, Nurgle, the father of all plagues, the God of Disease. So this week I decided to make a Nurgle themed cocktail. It's going to be a nice, long, sweet, easy to drink cocktail. It's going to be made with ginger ale, one small can, about 150ml. It's going to be made with 2 ounces of Jameson Irish whiskey half an ounce of elderflower liqueur, half an ounce of sugar syrup, and half an ounce of lemon juice. This is going to give us a nice balance of sweet notes, herbal notes, and those spirit notes, so it should pair really well with the theme of Nurgle. Now that's enough talking about the drink, we're here to make it, so let's crack on. We're going to get our shaker tin, and we're going to pop a nice rock of ice in here to get everything chilled down. We're then going to go in with half an ounce of our sugar syrup. Again, this is just a nice sweet sugar syrup. It's just going to add a nice bit of sweetness bit of balance to the cocktail. I generally pour in my sugar syrup first because it's quite thick and sticks to the bottom of the glass of the, the kind of measuring cup. So if you pour that in last, you're not going to get your full measure out. And if you do end up making a mistake, you haven't used your spirit first. So always go in with your cheaper ingredients first and then go in with your spirits at the end. So that was half an ounce of sugar syrup, half an ounce of our elderflower liqueur. This is from Monin. It's a 20% alcohol blend, so it's a nice kind of liqueur, it gives a nice bit of spirit and a really nice bit of flavour in there too. We're going to go in with two ounces of our Jameson Irish whiskey, pop that in there, and then half an ounce of our lemon juice, just to kind of round things out, keep things nice, keep things fresh. You always have to use freshly squeezed orange juice, or lemon juice in this case, because it just adds a nice balance kind of mix of flavours. And then we're just going to pop the shaker tin on top and shake it down for about 10 or 15 seconds just to get all these ingredients mixed in. Okay, that's nicely chilled now. So we're going to pop the top off and then we're going to go ahead to serve it. So for serving this cocktail, I use a tall glass with some ice cubes in it and I pour in my 150ml of my ginger ale first. So that way when I pour the drink on top, it's going to filter through and you'll see that cool effect I was talking about. So once we have this, we're just going to get a strainer on top of our mixer. I want to pour this through. We want to go in for an aggressive-ish pour because since it's Nurgle, he's going to be infecting this drink. Oh yes. Just like that. Now the trade secret for this drink is there may or there may not have been a few drops of green food colouring in the bottom of that shaker tin before I started, but I think that gave a really nice effect when you saw that green cocktail kind of infect the drink as it moved down. I think it's a really great little effect. I think it showcases Nurgle in all his glory. So let's go in to taste this cocktail and see if it's as good as it looks. Mmm. That is, not lying, a really nice cocktail. Now I know I kind of themed it around Nurgle, so you're going to have those botanical notes from the elderflower, but you're also going to have a nice bit of sweetness coming in from the sugar syrup, from that lemon juice. You have a nice bit of spirit coming through from two ounces of Jameson, and it's all rounded out by that nice ginger ale. It's Fever Tree ginger ale, it's a good brand, it's not overpowering, it doesn't dominate the drink, it just adds a nice base on top of which you can add all those extra spirits. This is the kind of drink that you can just kind of sip on because it does taste quite nice, but because it's a nice long drink, you're not going to be getting too drunk, you're not going to be kind of pounding it back too quickly. The ice is going to keep it nice and cold, that food colouring just gives it a really cool appeal, and I think it's just a really nice drink. Even if you didn't have the food colouring, this would be a really good drink to make. I think it's actually going to become one of my summer drinks, because I think that elderflower, that botanical note, that little bit of herbs in there, it's really nice and adds a really nice kind of twist on a kind of a classic Jameson ginger ale cocktail. Like I said, there are other YouTube bartenders making some kind of chaos themed cocktails. I will leave links to their videos in the comments below. Definitely check them out because they've got some cool kind of visual flares going on just like I had in my green food coloring. I personally put out a new whiskey review every Wednesday and cocktail recipes every Friday. So subscribe, you'll see them all. And until next time, let's launch it.